Hey everybody and welcome to Leia's Lair. In this episode, I've prepared a quiz to determine which ship you would pilot in the Star Wars universe. If you're enjoying the videos, please give them a like, share, and subscribe to the channel so I can continue making them for you. Now, before we begin, grab a pen and paper or something to keep track of your answers and scores. After each question, select one response that aligns with how you choose to be in the Star Wars universe. It will then reveal how many points each response is worth. Add that number to your tally. At the end, we'll add up all the points from the questions to determine which result you got. All right, let's begin. Question one, you're facing your nemesis in a pod race. Do you, A, sabotage their pod racer? You want any advantage you can get. B, pay no attention to them. They will distract you from what's important. C, wish them luck. If you win, you want to win fair. D, during the race, try to ram them into a wall. They should not have messed with you. E. Try to throw them off by insulting them. They are Bantha Poodoo compared to you. Question 2. Your neighbors come to you, the leader of your people, seeking help in their war. All that we have worked so hard to build. If we do not act quickly, all will be lost forever. I ask you to help us. No, I beg you to help us. We are your humble servants. Do you A. Refuse to take part in any war, you must look after your own people. B. Take advantage of their weak state and slaughter them, this is your chance to rule the planet yourself. C. Send them away with a small battalion of soldiers, that is the best you can do without compromising yourself. D. Conditionally agree, you'll only help them for the right price. E. Agree to help them in any way possible, it's the right thing to do. Question 3. You're chasing down an assassin who just tried to kill a senator. Do you A. Crash your speeder into theirs to stop the pursuit. Leave them to burn in their wreckage. B. Let them get away. They are not that important. C. Call on the authorities to assist you. You could use all the help you can get. D. Continue blindly pursuing them until you catch them. When you do, end them. E. Set a trap to capture them yourselves then try to get to the bottom of who they're working for. Question 4. You find out your companion's dad is the mastermind behind the Death Star. Do you? A. Ignore that fact and abandon your mission. It is too complicated. B. Complete your mission, pull the trigger, and end him. C. Sell your companion out to the Empire. Surely they would pay you well. D. Stop and realize you cannot do this. You are not a murderer. E. Rescue their father and reunite them together. They both deserve a happy ending. Question 5. You are tasked with the job of destroying the Death Star. Do you? A. Radio the rebel base, you need a lot of money if you're going to stay in this battle. B. Get out of there quickly, this job is too convoluted for you. C. Switch sides, take out the rebels and go with the side with the massive space station. D. Do what you can to help, but realize it is not worth your life. E. Follow through with the plan to the end, no matter what the cost. Question 6. You and your companions are trying to get through the enemy's deflector shield using old codes. We have you on our screen now. Please identify. Shuttle Tiderium requesting deactivation of the deflector shield. 
shuttle Tidarium. Transmit to the clearance code for shield passage. Transmission commencing. Now we find out if that code is worth the price we paid. Do you? A. I don't know. Fly casual. B. Keep your distance, but don't look like you're trying to keep your distance. C. Start firing on them. Do whatever it takes to get through the shield. D. Get out of there pretty quick. They're not going for it. E. Stay calm. It'll work. It'll work. Question 7. You come across a droid that needs to deliver a message, but it's extremely valuable. What about him? I'll pay for him. Sixty portions. Do you? A. Decline, but let the droid go free without helping him. B. Sell him to the junk dealer for parts and take your 60 portions. You'll be eating well tonight. C. Offer to help the droid, but only if you get something in return. D. Help the droid. His mission is more important. E. Destroy the droid and its message. Being associated with it will only get you in trouble. Question 8. The one you love wants to sacrifice themselves for no reason. Do you A. Save them the trouble and shoot down their ship. B. Do nothing. You'll let them decide for themselves. C. Try to convince them otherwise. D. Tell them good riddance. They're not your problem if they're stupid enough to do that. E. Risk your own life to save theirs. Question 9. What would be the most important aspect in your life? A. Health. B. Security. C. Happiness. D. Money. E. Power. Question 10. Your ship would mainly be used for A. Smuggling. B. Commuting. C. Recreation. D. Battling. E. Housing. Alright, that was the last question. Good job on finishing the quiz. Now just add up all the points from the questions and we'll find out which result you have in the Star Wars universe. Between 10 and 18, you got the Jedi Starfighter. The Eta-2 Actis class light interceptor, also known as the Jedi Starfighter or the Jedi Interceptor, was the standard fighter used by the Jedi during the Clone Wars. This Starfighter class ship was manufactured by Kuat Systems Engineering. It would be 5.47 meters in length and had a maximum atmospheric speed of 1,500 kilometers per hour. It could only hold one passenger comfortably and would cost around 300,000 credits. Between 19 and 25, you got the X-Wing. The T-65B X-Wing Starfighter was the standard fighter used by the Rebel Alliance during the Galactic Civil War. This Starfighter class ship was manufactured by Income Corporation. It would be 12.5 meters in length and had a maximum atmospheric speed of 1,050 kilometers per hour. It could hold only one passenger comfortably and would cost around 150,000 credits. Between 26 and 31, you got the Ghost. The Ghost was a modified BCX-100 light freighter used famously by the specters of the Rebel Alliance during the Imperial Era. This light freighter class ship was manufactured by Corellian Engineering Corporations. It would be 43.9 meters in length and had a maximum atmospheric speed of 1,025 kilometers per hour. It could hold up to six passengers comfortably and would cost around 150,000 credits for a new unmodified version. Between 32 and 37, you got the Tantive IV. 
The Tantive IV was a CR-90 Corvette used famously by Princess Leia Organa of the Rebel Alliance during the Galactic Civil War. This Corvette-class ship was manufactured by the Corellian Engineering Corporation. It would be 150 meters in length and had a maximum atmospheric speed of 950 kilometers per hour. It could hold more than 100 passengers comfortably and would cost between 2.7 to 3.5 million credits. Between 38 and 42, you got the Naboo Royal Starship. The Naboo Royal Starship was a J-Type 327 Nubian starship used famously by Queen Padme Amidala of the Galactic Republic during the invasion of Naboo. This yacht-class ship was manufactured by both the Palace Space Vessel Engineering Corps and Nubian Design Collective. It would be 76 meters in length and had a maximum atmospheric speed of 920 kilometers per hour. It could hold up to 8 passengers comfortably and would cost around 1.4 million credits. Between 43 and 48, you got the Millennium Falcon. The Millennium Falcon was a specifically modified YT-1300F light freighter used famously by Han Solo and Chewbacca during the Galactic Civil War. This light freighter class ship was manufactured by Corellian Engineering Corporation. It would be 34.75 meters in length and had a maximum atmospheric speed of 1,050 kilometers per hour. It could hold up to six passengers comfortably and would cost around 100,000 credits for a new unmodified version. Between 49 and 54, you got Slave 1. The Slave 1 was a modified Fire Spray 31 class patrol and attack craft used famously by Jango Fett before the Clone Wars and by his son Boba Fett during the Galactic Civil War. This space transport class ship was manufactured by Kuat Systems Engineering. It would be 21.5 meters in length and had a maximum atmospheric speed of 1,000 kilometers per hour. It could hold up to six passengers comfortably and would cost around 120,000 credits for a new unmodified version. Between 55 and 61, you got the TIE Fighter. The TIE slash IN Fighter was a standard fighter used by the Galactic Empire during the Galactic Civil War. This Starfighter class ship was manufactured by Sinar Fleet Systems. It would be 7.24 meters in length and had a maximum atmospheric speed of 1,200 kilometers per hour. It could hold only one passenger comfortably and would cost around 60,000 credits. Between 62 and 70, you got the Scimitar Sith Infiltrator. The Scimitar, also known as the Sith Infiltrator, was a heavily modified prototype star courier used famously by Darth Maul during the invasion of Naboo. This space transport class ship was manufactured by Republic Sinar Systems. It would be 26.5 meters in length and had a maximum atmospheric speed of 1,180 kilometers per hour. It could hold up to six passengers comfortably, and as a prototype, it would cost around 55 million credits. Interested in finding out more about who you'd be in the Star Wars universe? Check out my other quizzes. Anyways, I hope you had fun completing the quiz. So which one did you get? Let me know down below in the comment section. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more great videos to come. I hope to see you all again in Leia's Lair.